Hi guys and welcome to Make It At Home For Nothing. Today I'm going to be making Pakistan flag cupcake toppers. So let's get started. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Press the bell icon to receive new recipes and don't forget to leave a thumbs up. So to make these really cute toppers, you will need ready colored green fondant. This one is from Renshaw and it's called Emerald Green. And you'll also need a small spatula, a three inch circle cutter, some corn flour to dust your surface, CMC Tylo powder, I'll explain what this is later on, and also a small rolling pin. Okay, so first we're gonna knead our fondant to make it soft and easy to work with. Next we need to add some CMC Tylo powder, which makes normal fondant into flour paste fondant. All this means is that when the fondant dries, it will become really hard and it will, be, it will be able to hold its shape. I use CMC powder for all my fondant flowers and cake toppers. It dries really quickly and saves a lot of time. So you saw how much I used there, you just need a small amount. You can easily find this um, CMC powder um, online or from your local craft store. So take some corn flour so that our fondant doesn't stick to the worktop. And then roll out your fondant to however thick you want the toppers to be. So I'm rolling out this thin. You can see how thin I rolled it out. We don't want it really too thick because it's really sweet and together with the cake it will be too much to eat. So make it on the thinner side. Now take your cutter and cut out circles from the fondant and then gently lift them and place on top of a cake board or if you don't have a cake board you can use the side of a cereal box. Don't use a plate or a plastic tray because the fondant may stick to it and when you go to pick it up it will be difficult so I recommend using cardboard like I've done here. Okay so cut out the circles from the remaining fondant depending on how many toppers you want to make I'm going to make 40 for this video. Then leave to set for a couple of hours. Okay, the next step is to make the star and the crescent shapes. You will need some white fondant, corn flour to dust your work surface, some water and a rolling pin, and a one, one and a half inch circle cutter. Also a star plunger. Okay, so. Take some corn flour so that our fondant doesn't stick to the worktop and roll it out. Then we're going to take our circle cutter and cut out a circle and then use it again to cut out a crescent shape. So there we go, we have your, our little moon there. Okay, and from the remainder of the fondant you can cut out your star shape. Okay, so we have our super cute baby star to complete our flag. Okay, so now our circles are ready, hard set for two hours and we can attach the star and crescent to it. Carefully lift the shape and apply some water to it. This acts as a glue. And you can stick it onto your green circle. Do this same for the star. You can do this with all of your green circles. You can attach all the crescents and stars to them. And that's it, how simple is that? Now our toppers are ready to decorate the cupcakes. So we have all our toppers here, ready to put onto our cupcakes. Okay, so here I have some baked some vanilla cupcakes. I will be uploading this recipe soon. Please subscribe to be notified of new videos. Now we have to prepare our bag. So here I have a Wilton 2D tip, a disposable piping bag, and also some of my easy, simple vanilla buttercream. I'll be sharing this recipe with you all soon. Now you just snip off the end of your bag and put in the nozzle. Now simply spoon in the buttercream
like so. And then pull up the sides of the bag and push the buttercream down to the bottom and it's ready to use. Now you can use it to pipe your cupcakes. I'm going to show you two different ways you can pipe your buttercream. So the first one is this way. And the second one starts from the middle and you pipe outwards. So whichever one you prefer, they both look really nice. So now you can take your cake topper and simply place it on top of your frosting. There we go, so simple to make and they look really elegant. And because of the CMC powder, the, the topper will hold its shape and not droop over the sides. It's holding its shape and won't become soft because of the moisture from the buttercream. Look how super cute they look. I feel really patriotic now. These are the finished cupcakes and all identical. They look fantastic. Please try these at home and let me know how you get on. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching. See you next time.